Hello friends, I'm Priya Mistri, the TMJ doc, and today's video is about what to eat and what not to eat if you're having pain, tension, or fatigue in your jaw or your TMJs, your temporomandibular joints. One of my subscribers requested that I make this video, so here it is and I hope you enjoy. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a general dentist with a practice dedicated to taking care of patients with TMJ disorders. My practice is in Portland, Oregon, where I work with my mentor, Dr. Arthur L. Parker. If you haven't already, be sure to check out our office website. Be sure to check out my Instagram. The handle there is the underscore TMJ underscore doc. Also check out my Twitter, tweet, tweet, at Priya TMJ if you haven't already. I like to post on social media frequently with tips, trivia, just general information about TMJ disorders because there's a lot of misinformation out there. So if you like to learn more and geek out about this stuff like I do, be sure to check out my social media accounts. So let's get right into it. So if you're having jaw pain, tension, or fatigue, the best thing you can do is not make it worse. Don't make it worse, don't exacerbate it. So you can do this easily by babying your jaw and your jaw joints. I was asked specifically to give a list of foods to avoid and a list of foods that are okay. So let's start with the list of foods to avoid. Foods to avoid. Number one is actually bagels. Bagels are very dense and tough to chew and they are not kind to our chewing muscles or our jaw joints. Steak is another one that falls under that category. Salad requires a lot of chewing and compression of the joints. Raw fruits and vegetables, as delicious as they are, it's good to avoid them in the short term if you're having acute pain. Hard, crusty French bread is another one to avoid. That kind of falls into the bagel category as well. And a few others are beef jerky, nuts, granola. All of these require a lot of work for our jaw muscles and put a lot of stress on the joints as well. So basically anything that's difficult to chew or requires a lot of chewing, stay away from. Also as a side note, you wanna stay away from too much caffeine. Too much caffeine dehydrates the muscles that are already fatigued, that are already dysfunctional and contributing to jaw pain. So I would say one cup of coffee a day. A lot of my patients with a lot of pain are coming in drinking three or four cups of coffee. And once we lower that to one cup, we see those pain levels go down. So let's go on to the list of foods that are okay. Soft pastas, yum, think mac and cheese. Smoothies, smoothies are delicious and nutritional. Soft bread, fish, yogurt, rice, cooked fruits and vegetables. So basically anything that's not difficult to chew. So also as a side note here, stay hydrated, drink a lot of water. I'm always surprised to find out how many people don't like water. My coworkers don't like water. I drink tons of water, I think it's delicious. So drink a lot of water, not because I think it's delicious, but because it helps to flush toxins out of our systems dysfunctional, angry muscles that are driving a lot of our pain contain a lot of toxins. So combat those toxins, flush them out of there with tons of water. But again, don't overdo it. The US National Academy of Science, Engineering and Medicine determined that an adequate daily fluid intake is about 15 cups of fluids for men and about 11 cups of fluids for women. So do also keep in mind that it's important to have a healthy and balanced diet with or without TMJ pain. So if you're having pain and you have to avoid some of your dietary staples like a crispy apple or raw carrots, just keep in mind that there are ways to get the nutrients from these foods. So blending these foods and making a delicious smoothie is a wonderful way to get these nutrients and still respect the muscles of your head, neck, and jaw as well as your jaw joints. So get creative and be sure not to deprive your body of essential nutrients. Remember, our bodies, TMJ included, they heal faster when we're not deprived of essential nutrients, when we have everything that we need in order for our body's healing mechanisms to kick in. Another thing that you can do to bring some relief to these angry muscles from the comfort of your own home is to do some muscle releases. So I have a YouTube playlist called TMJ exercises slash muscle releases, and it has multiple videos on releasing this muscle, the sternocleidomastoid 
the masseter, the temporalis, and then even some intraoral techniques. So take a look at those. I've seen them bring a lot of relief to several of my patients and some people that aren't even my patients that are just doing these releases on themselves. I've linked this playlist in the description box below. So please be sure to take some time and do these muscle releases on yourself. They can help, they can bring relief, I've seen it. So there you have it my friends. If you like what you heard, learn something new, click like below, subscribe to my channel, do all the things. And as always, feel free to question or comment in the comment box below. And remember, my friends, you can never have TMI about TMJ. Thank you.